welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. Welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome any new viewers. So today I will be doing a rate and review on a makeup company called Arbonne. So I have a girl called Rachel Singers on my Facebook and she kindly sent me some products through. So I'll just tell you some information about the company before I start the rate and review um, first. So, a little bit of information about the products so you know exactly what you are using. All Arbonne products are from Swiss Heritage, making them ultra premium. Made to European standards. They're cruelty free and vegan. Free from harmful chemicals such as parbons and mineral oils and many more. Free from artificial colours and flavours. They are all plant based botanically inspired formulas botanically I hope that's right anyway made using the best of green science with the best of nature the makeup is a treatment range so every product treats the area as well as making you look more aesthetically pleasing e.g. the mascara actually conditions your lash lashes and helps them grow so that's um, some information about Arbonne and this is what the company logo looks like. So that's some information about the company themselves. So I'll carry on with the rate and review now. And in between, I will show you myself using the products. To begin with, I used their makeup primer. And I loved this. It was really, really smooth, really nice. It kind of reminds me of the Unique primer, which is really soft as well. I don't know how much that would be, but I know the Unique one was £30. So if that's cheaper, then that's ideal. But I would recommend the primer. Then I went in with this eyeshadow palette, which was just only two colours, which is why I did a soft, natural look on my eyes today. As you can see, only with two colours you'll be able to still create some really nice looks with. I do really like this. You could also use it as an eyebrow filler and a highlighter which I actually thought it was, so I actually had to ask Rachel. But I really liked these. Um, they blended out really nice, so again, I would give the eyeshadows a thumbs up. And then I went in with my eyebrow pencil. eyebrow pencil kind of reminded me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow definer but this reminded me a lot of it with the spoolie brush on the end and with the tip. I personally prefer an eyebrow pencil to be quite fine um, just so it can create more hair like strokes when you're filling in your eyebrows the eyebrow pencil was good, obviously it's done a good job with my eyebrows today, but I personally would have preferred it to have a thinner tip. But that's just my personal preference, but I would give it a thumbs up, but just personally, I would prefer a thinner tip. And then I went in with the It's a Long Story Mascara. This is only a sample, so obviously this is not the full size version, but I really liked the brush on this it was able to get all the hairs in the corners and the outer corner of my eye and it made them really nice and long and luscious so I would give the mascara a thumbs up too then I went in with their liquid foundation in the shade honey um, again, this is only a sample pot that Rachel gave me, so um, this isn't obviously the full size version. This foundation I liked. 
I would say it's a full coverage foundation, but it doesn't feel like a full coverage foundation. It feels very light and soft. I also used it as um, a concealer under my eyes on top of my first layer of foundation and it worked out pretty nicely. All my blemishes are covered up. So I would recommend the liquid foundation if you are looking for a full coverage foundation that you don't want to feel too cakey in. So that is a thumbs up. And then I went in with the mineral powder foundation in Radiant. I personally don't use powder foundation. Uh, my skin doesn't like it as it sets in my pores quite deep and it shows my pores off. Again, if you are going out somewhere for a special occasion or for a wedding makeup, that on top of the liquid foundation works really well. And it was a really nice colour in Radiant. It gave you a really nice glow after. So if you're one for full coverage foundation, then the liquid and the mineral, I would say, work, would work really well together. So I personally don't use powder foundations, but if I was to get one, I would probably go for that one. So I would give that a thumbs up. Cha ching Then I went in with their bronzer. Um, which was a really really nice bronzer it had a really nice glow it would be suitable for every day and you could apply more too if you're going out for in town or a special occasion blended really nicely and I did a small contour with it. I would give the bronzer a thumbs up. If you're looking for a good bronzer then this one would be ideal. Then I went in with the blusher which was a really nice shade, perfect for every day. It wasn't too overpowering, um, it just complements the look perfectly and it blended out really nicely so I would give the blusher again a thumbs up and then I finished my face makeup with the finishing powder um, because I had quite a full coverage liquid foundation and then um, mineral foundation on top I didn't want to put it everywhere and go a bit too heavy with it because again I don't want to look cakey but this was perfect just to highlight with so I did the tops of my cheekbones my cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose it's a soft highlight but it still gives you that glow so I would give the finishing powder again a thumbs up all the products seem to be amazing and then I ended with their lip gloss which is in shade color color really really like the shade really nice natural nude gloss the only thing I didn't like about it was the stick that it comes in I personally don't like that stick because as you can see all the bristles fall out and they lose their shape quite easy. I personally just prefer something like that with a lipstick or a lip gloss. But really really liked it. So I'd give the lip gloss a thumbs up as well. So all in all, I would give the cosmetic company Arbonne a big thumbs up. Liked it a lot. Also they do, 
which I didn't realise. They do skincare, they do shampoos, they do hairspray, hair serum, makeup brushes, they do everything. So if you're one of these people that are into their cruelty free and vegan makeup that they are serious about not buying from a cosmetic company that test on animals, then I would go with Arbon. So that's it with the rating review on the Arbon makeup. Hope you enjoyed this one guys. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for future rating reviews and tutorials coming up soon. Thanks for watching this one guys and see you next time.